Ladies and gentlemen, Cookie Mama 4 coming at ya. So happy to be back, guys. Um, today we're just gonna do a quick little, uh, little late breakfast, early lunch, little strawberry shortcake today. Uh, before we get started on that, let's hand it over to these messages. So, before we get started, I want to thank today's sponsor, once again, Schnooks coming in clutch. Schnooks, extra creamy Cool Whip. Guys, can't stress enough how good this extra creamy Cool Whip is. You can put it on your strawberry shortcake. You can put it on your brownies. You can put it on your cereal. I don't care what you put it on. You can just have a swig of it if you want. Let's pop it off and let's have a swig. Yum! So, for starters, I like to start off with a strawberry shortcake simply by getting out a real nice round cake. Round cake, guys. Everybody say round cake in the comments. Strawberries, blueberries, Cool Whip, of course. First thing I do is I wash the fruit. You gotta wash the strawberries, you gotta wash the blueberries to make that just more fresh, more, more nutritious and fresh and delicious, guys. Can't stress enough how important it is to wash the fruit. Wash the fruit, guys. So, first and foremost, you want to grab a couple strawberries. So grab one, maybe grab two, three, maybe four, okay? Put those under, I do like a little medium, medium water, guys. Just wash, 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 right? And then... You want to put those on a napkin. I don't have a napkin out right now, but I will be right back, and I will show you guys what to do now. Next thing I do is I cut the stems off, right? Be very careful. As I stressed last video, you want to be very careful with these sharp knives. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. Cut the stems off, right? Cut the stems off, right? Cut. Boom. So that's the first step, guys. And once you get done cutting up those stems and cutting up those strawberries... You can start layering those strawberries on the strawberry shortcake itself, on the uh, little little pound cake, right? So just I usually just layer them around the center like so, and then I layer them around the edge of it as well. So now we got those in the middle, right? How good does that look, guys? Let me know in the comments. And then I start layering layering it around the pound cake like this. You see this? Just like that, guys. Simple. Now we're going to do... Um, let me get back here. Now we're going to do the uh, blueberries, right? So uh, I'll uh, show you guys how I wash the blueberries, and then we'll start layering the blueberries on there. And then we're almost done, guys. So um, here we go. Alrighty, so now you want to get some blueberries. We got to wash the blueberries, of course. So here we go. Again, grab a couple blueberries. Grab a couple. Grab a couple. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Guys, you know what that means. As you guys know, you drop something, you take a shot, right? But uh, it's a little early for, for, uh, for a shot of alcohol right now, so we're just going to do a little shot of something else. One of my other favorite drinks. Here we go. 2%. 2% fresh. Again, schnooks coming in clutch. 2% reduced fat milk, guys. 2%. Here we go. Special shout out today, guys. This is a Kansas City Boulevard Brewery shot glass. I want to give a special shout out today to uh, BM and Stove, who are my KC crew. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. This one's for you guys. Y'all know the drill. Cooking Mama. All right, guys, now that you watch the blueberries, you want to start layering them on that pound cake, right? So I just start putting them on the center. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then you can wrap a couple around the edge, right? How's that look, guys? How's that look? Last and final step, guys, my favorite, the Cool Whip. Again, thank you, Schnooks, for the extra creamy Cool Whip. Here we go, guys. I usually just do, I do a center, center fold, center fold, and then you want to wrap the edges, guys, like so. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that strawberry shortcake, guys. Let me. I'll let you guys know what I think. Oh my god, guys, you gotta make this at home. Let me know if you guys make it at home. Let me know how you guys did it and if you like it. Mm. 
Eight four. Eight four. Solid eight four, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I will probably be back next week. Not sure what day yet. Probably Thursdays, but the schedule might change. I'll let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to drop a sub, drop a comment, drop a like. I really appreciate it, guys. It keeps the channel going. Let me know what to uh, cook next, and I will see you guys next week. In the meantime, guys, keep on cooking.